Have you ever had the itch to just tackle a project yourself? Or do you also have an unfinished basement? Or do you just wanna see how we transformed a corner of our basement into a guest suite? If so, let's visit more about how we've been staying productive with this home improvement project. So until recently, I wouldn't have really considered ourselves DIYers, but now that we've transformed a space, I have been having fun documenting it as we go and thought it would be fun to share our progress. When our house was built five years ago, we didn't have the basement finished, but we've always envisioned having a bedroom, bathroom, and, and more down in the basement. And recently we've been eager to have a designated spot for friends and family to be able to come, stay, and be our guest. So we decided to tackle a guest room, bathroom project ourselves. So first we started by insulating the exterior walls with foam board. I guess before that we carried in all the supplies and <laughs> the kiddos were good help with that as well. It was, it's kind of become a big family project. So then it was time to assemble the walls and considering that Jay and I have never really ever done this, we're happy to report that there now are in fact walls constructed in our basement to form a bedroom, a closet, and a bathroom. So I did take a woods class in college and I enjoyed it and when I was a little girl I can remember like wanting to be a carpenter there for a little while, I thought it would be fun. And Jay does have some work experience with like interior construction, but for the most part we we're just totally winging it and I am somebody that really likes to learn so like just the thrill of like reading researching watching videos and like learning how to do these things has been enjoyable for me and definitely a learning curve but it's been a fun process and I was channeling my inner Heidi from Home Improvement that was a show I used to love as a kid as well so um, getting to use some power tools and you know physically create something has been a, a neat experience so thanks for coming to hang out and see what we've been up to lately so we did do almost everything ourselves we did bring in a plumber and electrician for a couple pieces uh, just so that we didn't burn the house down I we were on a, a time crunch to have our first guest my sister come and stay and just out of like pure safety <laughs> concern I wanted um, some professional guidance in those departments but we did do the finishing work with the plumbing side of things, so that's almost all done by ourselves, which is cool, because we've never done anything like this. So thanks for watching, because it was just kind of fun to do it, and it's fun to put this video together to see the different steps. Probably one of the coolest unanticipated benefits of the whole thing has been seeing the kids have so much fun with this too. So Jets practiced nailing and nails just for the fun of it, which was a cool experience. And then of course he's helped run the drill, we practiced reading a tape measure, you know, just teaching some of those things to the kiddos has been has been pretty cool as well. And then Gemma, she's played underfoot and enjoyed the process too. When we picked up all the supplies at the home improvement store, that was you know a first for them to see you know lots of lumber and all that. And so it was fun just to get them involved with something new as well. Jet, who is six, has actually been legitimately good help, especially when it came to like carrying in the wood studs or other supplies. He like helped us unload a trailer full of things, which was awesome. And he has helped at a couple different stages of the process after school and whatnot. And so it's been a, a neat experience to do with our kids. And Gemma, of course, she's tried to be ever so helpful, even if it was just riding along in my arms as we did different tasks or running around playing while we worked. They had so much fun with just the scrap lumber pieces, building with the blocks and, you know, playing underfoot as we went. Of course, sometimes it was nice to work on this in the evenings after the kiddos went to sleep. It was almost therapeutic to just, I would come down here, um, turn on a good audio book and tinker away at the tasks that needed done. And it was a very enjoyable way to be productive in the evenings. When it came time to add the sheetrock to the stud walls, that was pretty rewarding because it obviously gave shape to the rooms, helped us you know, see, feel the floor plan that had now come to life. And so that was pretty neat. But then when we got to the mud and tape part, I will say that was a little bit more challenging. Um, 
I didn't mind it. Jet really liked helping me mud the nail holes and tape and I definitely can see the benefit of hiring a pro because we have lots of spots where the tape is showing where I didn't do a great job of getting it sealed but it works. I've never liked get... the phrase good enough for who it's for because as a high school teacher I would hear that from students on their assignments where they just wanted to be done and I would you know lecture about taking pride in your work and do your best and don't say that and then <laughs> when it got to the mud and tape point of this project that phrase definitely was coming to mind a lot <laughs> um, and I did have to just say you know good enough for who it's for which is for us and you know it works we did our best I did it the best I could and hi yeah yeah I don't know that I still like that phrase but I'm going to just rest in the fact that we got it done even though it's by no means professional looking. <laughs> Some of that was tedious and definitely learned a lot about it. I, you know, in the future, if we keep going on the rest of the basement, I think I could do a better job, you know, knowing the different steps and sanding and all that. But for now, it's done and you know, with some creative decoration hanging at the end, I think it's going to be all good and all fine. <laughs> Even learning how to level and attach the tub shower unit was new for us, so it came, we picked it up as one big bolt piece, and there it was in the middle of our basement, and then it was like, now what? <laughs> so learning, you know, to build that appropriate size and get it just right uh, was good. Jay, like I mentioned, finished up the attachment of the water lines in the tub and the shower and stuff, so we did save some on that by his experience being able to do that, and um, it was good. There is a lot of parts to the whole room that you just, I just take for granted, don't think about like how long the screws do I need or um, what tool will I need to you do that part of XYZ step and you know, so it was fun to think ahead and get organized with that. Now, of course, this was not all sunshine and roses for us as we went, but it was good for both of us to accomplish something together. So that was good. If you're ready to see the paint colors we chose, what we decided to do for the flooring and the ceiling and some exciting finishing touches, then please hit subscribe so you're ready for the grand reveal video coming next week. And we'd love to know what's a home improvement project that's keeping you busy or what's something that you're hoping to get done here in the new year. Leave it in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what everyone's up to as well. I can't wait to visit more soon.